special bas mitzvah of Hana Paltia. And we're going to ask everyone to please take their seats. With your cooperation, please, it gives me great pleasure to invite Lady Paltiel to the podium to please address the crowd and to light the menorah. Please welcome Lady Paltiel. It's, a, it's great to be back in Yeshiva to see everyone and to celebrate with my little sister Hama. Tonight, I represent my three older brothers, Mendel, Beryl, and Ephraim, who send their love from Chicago, Los Angeles, and Manchester, England. See that? Us Yeshiva boys get to hang out in some really neat places. Me? My yeshiva? You really want to know? <laughs> it's in a place called Staten Island! <laughs> Kaina, as you know well, our family are spoken, emissaries of the Rebbe, and we are assisted by all of these wonderful people who we've gotten to know over these many years, way before you were even born. Together, our task is to be lamplighters, to kindle the flame of Yiddishkeit and goodness in the hearts of our fellow Jew and fellow human being. At times, the world may seem like a dark place with not enough mitzvahs, mor morality, and joy to go around. The task of being a lamplighter may seem too difficult. The Hanukkah candles, which we will light together momentarily, inspire us because they teach us three important lessons about life. Light doesn't need to defeat darkness. It simply illuminates it. You don't need a whole bunch of light to get the job done. A tiny little light can shine away lots of darkness. And finally, light is contagious. One light kindles another, which kindles another, on and on and on. Dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, fellow lamplighters, please rise for the kindling of the Hanukkah menorah.
bisschen ganz kopf an dem Mäschen und Kugeln und Tanzen und Oh! Einmal bis hier nicht. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, to lead us in the emoji blessing, please help me in welcoming the founder of Chabadapur, Washington, and a personal friend of my family for 23 years, Dr. Martin Brownstein. Brownstein already said the blessing. He asked me to lead you. Please join me, ladies and gentlemen. Baruch Ata Adenoy Aleheinu Melech Haolam Hamotzi Lechem Min Haaretz. Amen. Friends, Mazel Tov, thank you, each and every one of you, for joining us tonight. Hanukkah's party time, and thank you for going out for yet another party. It means the world to us. Thank you to each and every single person in this room for coming out and celebrating with us tonight this great personal simcha of our daughter Hannah's Bat Mitzvah. Thank you, and may God repay you with simchas of your own in good health and happiness. Amen. On some of the tables, you're going to find little charity boxes. It's our custom that we begin with doing an act of tzedakah while we have our own joy to share with others. So if you have those charity boxes, this is not a solicitation. <laughs> you can give later online. There are quarters on that plate. Please pick up one of those coins, throw it into the tzedakah box, and help us with the mitzvah of tzedakah. My dear Hanala, my dear Hanala, I vividly remember the first time we met. In fact, in the first few hours of your life here on earth, you taught me a very important lesson. I remember it was a Friday night. You were born midnight, late after midnight, Friday night, Shabbat. Those days, Sarah still went to the hospital to have a baby. So it was a nice peaceful night, Shabbat, no phone calls, no one to call, Sarah, myself, and you, Hanala. It's around 2, 3 in the morning, Sarah would try to give her a chance to sleep a little. And I'm holding you in my arms, newly minted little gift. You know, at the time I was reading the teachings of the famous Besht, the Baal Shem Tev, who taught us that each and every year, each and every one of us, as precious to God as an only child is to a parent. And I was bothered by that teaching, how many only children can God have? Can I really be precious to God as an only child? And there I was in the middle of the night holding you. You were tiny. You hadn't even opened your eyes yet to look at me. And I felt overcome with love. I'm thinking to myself, how much do I love this child? We already had five children before you were born. Do I love you one-sixth of my heart? And I realized then and there, no. I love you entirely. 
There are no walls in the human heart. I can have six children. I can have Baruch Hashem, Beli, I and Hara, ten children. Each one is an only child. Certainly Almighty God can love each of us as an only child. Some thoughts from Sarah's diary. Age three, Hannah's an original, phenomenal memory, great imagination, loves to make up stories. Very expressive of her love, calling everyone her cutie pie. Age four, I was then invited to give a talk at a big convention. It was one of my big uh, opportunities at the time. I was a little nervous. The whole family went and spent a weekend at this convention. And I delivered the big speech we were concerned. She was a little four-year-old kid. Should we take her out of the room? Will she disturb? And she promised to be good. She sat quietly throughout the whole speech. The minute it was over, she stood up on top of her chair and started to applaud this entire room. Noticed, Tati, Tati, I love you. I'm so proud of you. That was our Hannah. That is our Hannah. Sarah's trying to feed her some uh, dinner. She doesn't want to eat it. She says, what? It's some spaghetti squash. She says, Mommy, what is it? I don't like it. Mom says, no, eat it. It's good. Hashem made it. She says, really? On what day? <laughs> Age seven, she sits me down on the couch and she has a talk. She says, Tati, you come home too late from work. And I explain that I'm a shliach, I'm a rabbi, I have to be out there, I gotta visit people. And I'm doing hopefully some important mitzvahs. She says, you know, that's okay, I understand. A couple of days later, she leaves me a voicemail, which I should have kept. But it was written down in the diary, thanks to mom. Hello, Tati. This is the voicemail. Hello, Tati, I just wanted to hear your voice. Come home if you want to. <laughs> we love you, you're my cutie pie. Chana, you're named after the Rebbe Tzedchana, the beloved mother of the Rebbe, a woman of grace and of royalty, of inner strength and determination. The word Chana means charm, something you were blessed with in abundance. The word Chana stands for three Hebrew words, which stand for the three mitzvot given especially to the Jewish woman. Chana, Chala, Nida, Hadlokat, Hanerot, the mitzvah of Chala, which really means by extension the laws of kosher. Nida, family purity. And the lighting of Shabbat candles all spelled out right there in your name. Lady spoke of you being a lamplighter, a shlucha. You know, your bat mitzvah really was back in July when you turned 12. By divine providence, we chose to celebrate with Chana on Chanukah, quite appropriately. But I share with you a thought tonight on what it means to be a lamplighter. Our job is to light another Jew and another human being with the light of Torah and the light of goodness. The Rebbe once said in a talk in 1985, he said to light a candle, to light another human being, not unlike lighting a candle, you don't have to do major things. You don't have to exert a whole lot of effort. All you have to do for one light candle to light another is bring them close to one another. When we're close with our friends and neighbors, when there's love, when Abati Yisrael, when they know that we love them and care about their problems and their lives, Chanola, that's the best way and the only way to kindle the light in the heart of a fellow Jew. Tonight on this special night, I want to give you a blessing, a blessing from a father to his daughter. And the best blessing I want to give you tonight, Chanola, that you should be like your mother. <laughs> Let me explain. Everyone in this room knows how special mommy is. Her beauty, her talent, her strong mind and yet soft heart. Her creativity, the list goes on. But it's the combination of things which is so extraordinary in your very special mother. Genuine caring for others while raising a large family of her own. The talent and ability to direct a Chabad house like this one, running the Florence Brownson preschool, which she built and direct with her own hands. Ingenuity to create projects like Florence's Israel and a playground like the one you see at the back of Chabad house. And at the same time, this creative, talented, out there woman is the most loving mother imaginable to each of her children, showering them from birth with the nurturing and total love that gives them the foundation 
to enable them to stand on their own two feet. In corporate America, your mother will be considered a great success. Yet her greatest wish is to bring to the world yet another Jewish child. Hanel Mami is a role model to you as you become the Jewish woman. <coughs> Conquer the world, but never at the expense of your family. And most of all, know who you are, why you're here, be firm and unwavering your priorities and values, and be proud of them. That, Hanela, is a glimpse into your amazing mother. I bless you tonight in the traditional words that we bless our children, our daughters. May God help you grow like Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, the matriarchs of our people. Tonight I take the liberty to also read the verse simply, may you grow to be like your mother, Sarah. Thank you so much. Mommy and Tati, tonight I want to say thank you. I know I've said that before, hopefully many times before. But I say it again tonight because truth be told, we don't really know how to appreciate our parents and what they've done for us until we have children of our own, until we see those children grow into adulthood and deal with the challenges of real life. So Tati and Mommy, as I grow old and hopefully begin to grow up, I have to thank you yet again for all that you've done and you do. The home life you provided for us, me and my six siblings, for loving us always unconditionally and always believing in us. And Baruch Hashem, the proof is in the results. Your amazing family, the seven branches strong. Children and grandchildren heading up Chabad houses, summer camps, schools in Brooklyn, New York, Port Washington, New York, Bantra Block, Quebec, Laguna Niguel, California, in Ohomish County, California, and Orlando, Florida, each spreading Yiddish guide and making a real difference in the life of others. I'd like to invite my beloved father, the Zayda, tonight to join me up here and to read a letter that the Rebbe sent traditionally to each bat mitzvah girl. No doubt the Rebbe blesses our Chana with that same letter, that same blessing tonight. Please welcome Rabbi Paltiel Sr. Ladies and gentlemen, finally rise. I'm going to first read it in the original, in Hebrew. Baruch HaVishonim, Emanuel Mechtova, Boik Reservs, Asher Yigiyah Legim, Shnei Moser Shnei Eshon, Ezri Shona. Here is the Bas Mitzvah. Here is the Rosh Hashanah, the Kabbalah, the Lord, 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 the Lord. The Hashem is born, the Lord, 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 Thank <laughs> וזוהי הרלוך אישר רוחני ורגשני, וברוכו ונכסים אף ומרב. (מחיאות 
a free translation, blessing and peace. In response to your having written, in which you inform me about your having reached the stage of 12 years of age, which is the stage of Bat Mitzvah, may build the will from Hashem that you should accept upon yourself the yoke of heaven and the yoke of mitzvahs with a full heart. And Hashem, blessed be He, should give you a success in your learning and in your conduct, and you should grow to be truly worthy to carry the title of a daughter of Chabad, fitting and suited to the rotsen, to the will of our masters, our holy masters, may their name, may the, <coughs> their memory be a blessing. And you should also affect your friends, may they be, live and be well, by speaking, by referring, by communication, and even more, by providing for them a living example of what the Jewish daughter that is raised in Dakia Hasidus, in the words of Hasidus, should be. And this should bring to you spiritual success and gosh music and, 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 and uh, also material success. The blessing and the Rebbe Sassima. Just going to take a second for your own comment. Surely this is a very, very special moment for us, for, uh, for both the, for the grandparents, the parents, grandparents, great-grandparents. <coughs> what strikes me in this letter, I'm not going to go, what strikes me in this letter is a very typical message from our Rebbe. It stands in front of my eyes when the Rebbe used to give, stand and give out dollars. Everybody is familiar with that, with that phenomenon. And we would sometimes walk by the Rebbe, we take dollars with babies. We were all very concerned in holding the Rebbe up the next moment. And the baby would be, would take time to take the dollar, sometimes he didn't know how to, how to stretch out, to, to, to pick up the dollar, and the parent would be anxious to save this moment and would, would take, the, take the dollar, take, try to take the dollar for the baby. The rabbi would refuse to let go of the dollar, insisting that the baby, whatever time it takes, take the dollar herself. <laughs> and here in this letter as well, this is my personal um, experience as well. When my, my daughters became bat mitzvah, I would write, I wrote to the Rebbe. The Rebbe did not respond. <laughs> so I said, what's going on? So I said to her, you write. She wrote and the response came instantaneously. <laughs> this letter is addressed in that likewise. It's an, I'm responding to you for your having written to me about your having reached this stage. It is our Rebbe who had given us the message that every child has to grow up on their own and, and they have the potential of their, of their uh, full status from a very early, early stage. Maybe all married to see and have nachas from all our children and grandchildren and then from ourselves as well. Be well, mazel tov, mazel tov. <laughs>
the star of stage and screen and our boss Ritzwood, the one and only Hannah Paltia. Hasidic dance, and we're going to invite the ladies to join us on my right side, closer towards the uh, Holy Ark, the Aaron Kodesh, and gentlemen are invited to join us to my left, back towards the uh, buffet area. We're going to have a short Hasidic dance in honor of Hannah's Bat Mitzvah, and then we're going to invite everybody to enjoy the beautiful dinner that awaits you. Please join us, Mazel Tov. Singing Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, Singing Tov. Thank you. 
Gentlemen, at this time, you're all... We trust you're enjoying your dinner at this point. And we invite everybody to please direct your attention towards the stage where it gives me great pleasure to introduce the brothers Shmuel and Bensi Marcus, who are the co-founders of the popular Eighth Day Band, Put Your Hands Together, which has brought a whole new sound to Jewish music and the music scene in general. Fusing the old with the new, their lyrics, harmonies, and fresh funky sound have taken the world by storm. They've played hundreds of shows across the globe, including Lincoln Center, American Airlines Arena in Miami, Universal Studios in Hollywood, Hong Kong, Spain, Chicago, Canada, and many more. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for this world sensation, the one and only group, Eighth Day. Thank you, thank you. Wow, what an introduction. Big Mazel Tov, Tafana, Hershey. We have a special song in Yiddish, one dedicated to Bas Mitzvah Girl. In Yiddish, it's called Tracht Gut with Sein Gut. If you think positive, it's going to be positive. Something we, we learned from the Rebbies. A little gift from Southern California. Today's sunshine, we brought that for you. Here we go. Music, music. Music dancing. Music should dance. Music, music, music dancing. Music should dance us all away. For well, Washington, how you guys feeling? You ready for a little music? You think they're ready? I think so. Oh,
Oh, music, music. Music dancing. Music should dance me away. Music, music. Music dancing. Music should dance us away. Met a little boy with big brown eyes, he said, Try put her in time, good. Met a little girl who had no way, she said, Try put her in time, good. Oh, try put her in time, good. Try put her in time, good. Try put her in time, good to me. Oh, try put her in time, good. Try put her in time, good. Try put her in time, good to me. I see you have the wristband. California, where the Reviton is from. Come on, let's hear a round of applause for Rabbi Paltiel and the whole Mishpocha. A big mazel tov. We're very good friends with the Rabbi's brother in Southern California. Sends his best regards, wishes he could be here. As you all know, Rabbi Paltiel is a Rabbi's rabbi and he really deserves a round of applause for doing such a, a terrific job. You know, when our grandparents, we weren't uh, always from Los Angeles, our grandparents actually came from the old country because Europe was burning 
and when uh, my parents, my grandparents arrived at Ellis Island, this old song was playing on a broken radio. You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. You never count your money. While sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting. When the deal ends done. But when my grandfather got off the boat at Ellis Island, he said, America will be no different. We must turn these United States into Yiddish country. So we decided to write a Yiddish country song, the world's only and the world's best. We just need you to clap along to keep the tempo, all right? words to it and uh, 
It's my favorite song at the moment. It's about learning from the Torah. It's called the learning. I left a good job in the city. Working for the dollar every night and day. This old rabbi told me you were made to be holy. Get yourself a Bible song and see what it says. Instead of buying her the roses. I went and bought the five bucks of Moses Learning, learning, learning from the Torah I'm learning, learning, learning from the Torah Noses. To keep them in the five books of Moses Learning, 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 learning from the Torah Learning, 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 learning from the Torah Yeah, 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 I'm learning, learning, learning from the Torah Yeah, I'm learning, learning, learning from the Torah Let's get close, people Pretty soon I started praying Started wearing tits and I covered my head. I started keeping Shabbos. My dad bought me a talus. It all came together with the Torah I read. If my kids are gonna have big noses, I wanna see them in the Bible of some Moses. Learning, 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 learning from the Torah. Yeah, I'm learning, 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 learning from the Torah. Yeah, I'm learning, 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 learning. learning, 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 learning You know, Hanukkah is a time of light, and there's light and laughter. There's an old Yiddish song. Chidi beam, chidi bomb, chidi beam, bum 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 bum. Does anybody have anyone in their family that maybe knows this song? Snap your fingers. What? It's an old Yiddish classic. It comes from the old country. Chidi, I'll teach it to you. Chidi beam, chidi bomb, chidi beam, bum 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 bum. Chidi beam. Chitty bum, chitty bim bum 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 Anybody own a radio in the 1920s? Anybody? It's a Yiddish classic, one of the best. We buy me the best, you know, so we wrote our own version of this chitty good. What, we should do it? You guys, anybody know old classic Yiddish songs? Anybody here still? We'll teach yes, we'll teach it to you. Got one person, it's worth it. Old Yiddish songs that about Smith's uh, is like a boss. By me, Mr. Shane. By me, lost the plane. By me, the Mr. Tie, me the bell. By me, Mr. Shane. By me, lost the plane. By me, the Mr. Tie, me the bell. But there's nothing better than a boss 
Port Washington. So we wrote our own version of these Yiddish songs that we grew up with, and we called it Chitty Brim because their royalty copyright ran out. It's over 70 years old. And it goes like this. It's going to be positive. Tracht gut, wird sein gut. We want to see those uh, bracelets in the air for this fantastic song called Yalili. It's got that positive power in it to make positive things happen. Here we go. A big muscle tough not only to the Bas Mitzvah girl, but to her entire class and group of friends that are keeping it very freilach over here. A round of applause for the dancers, come on. You're looking at the next generation over here, very important, very limited, very fantastic. Here we go. Ashkenazi, Yala 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 Y
special announcements for celebration. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have another celebration at this time that I need you to join with me, please. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Jack. Happy birthday to you. direct their attention to Alan Solzweig, leading our benching, including the special editions for Hanukkah and Rosh Chodesh. Is there a bencher on the table? You have bencher, 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 bencher? Again, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, benching Bekata Mazon, led by Alan Solzman. Is it on? How about kind of a ray? He shame and I'm a rock me a tabir alum. He shame and I'm a rock me a tabir alum. Shishmar and I'm Rabbi Nam Rabbi Tai. And shall come be shallow. Rukh Elohim 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 shall come be shallow. Rukh Thank you. 
And special for Hanukkah.
to enjoy a most, a very well-deserved dessert following our extended version of the Caramazona benching. We have a beautiful dessert and coffee that is available in the lobby for your dining pleasure. Please enjoy, have a good time, and don't forget to wish a very special Mazel Tov to our Bas Mitzvah girl, to Hannah, on her way out, on your way out, and wish a special Mazel Tov to the entire Paltiel family. It's a pleasure joining with you, as always, for such beautiful symptoms here in Kabataport, Washington, Mazel Tov. <laughs> <laughs> 